Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today I decided to build just a simple little house. It's been a really long time since I've done that. I feel like I've gotten into this groove of just building these houses that have to be interesting or they have to be like a certain style I guess whether that's like a Tudor house or a farmhouse or you know some like ultra modern house. Um, it's been a really long time. Like, I can't even remember off the top of my head the last time I built, like, just a regular looking house. Kind of a classic looking house, I guess, is what I imagined this to be when I started building it. So we are in Henford on Bagley, which is probably my second favorite world to build in, just after Windenburg. Um, just because I like the countryside look of it. I love how vibrant the greens are in this world, and I feel like Almost every lot has really good lighting as well, which is pretty rare to find. I don't remember, oh, no, I do remember where this house is. I think it's the house at the very, very top of the map where the waterfall is. So it's a smaller lot, and I don't think I've ever built on this one before. No, I don't think I have. So that was kind of interesting just to build, like, in a different place that I've never built before. Um, yeah, this house is, like I said, kind of simple. I got inspired by a build I saw, I want to say on Pinterest. It was just this little cottage kind of house. It was all white, which when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's kind of pretty, but I don't think I want to do something just white because I find with my reshade, for some reason, when I do white, like, wallpapers or windows or stuff sometimes it gets kind of glowy looking so I decided to add this brick as well and do a black roof just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting than just a totally white house. Um, I used a lot of the coastal set from Hey Harry for windows and doors and then I also used the greenhouse haven kit here for the little sunroom and I'm still obsessed with the windows that came with that kit because for the longest time I'd make these fake like screen and porches because we didn't have anything not even CC that had like that screen detail on it and when we got that kit I was like I need this immediately not only for the plants and the gardening stuff because as you all know if you've been here for a little while I absolutely love plants in real life and in the sims and I also always almost always have my sims be gardeners just because it's a good money maker and just because it's kind of like a therapeutic thing in my mind so yeah that was definitely a kit that I was very happy with more happy than I was with the actual plant kit which is kind of funny to say I guess but I'm really I'm not a fan of that one to be honest um except for the one hanging plant in that kit because that one's really pretty and I use it a lot but honestly the rest of the plants I'm not the biggest fan of I think like they went a little bit too like maybe crazy with the plants in that kit like I would have been happy with just some basic looking plants that you could use anywhere I feel like the ones in that kit are very stylized to like different things and it doesn't work super well altogether in my opinion I don't know I I still recommend it just for that one hanging plant and I feel like some of the smaller plants in that kit are also okay but yeah it's not my favorite and the furniture that came with it is not my favorite either honestly the greenhouse saving kit is just way nicer in my opinion so yeah, even the fencing and all the like railings and stuff, that's all from the Coastal Kit as well. I really like this fence. It's really unique and I feel like it worked really well with this build. In fact, just the whole outside of this build I'm really, really happy with. I feel like I normally struggle a lot with not landscaping but with furnishing the outside. Like I just don't ever know how to lay it out unless it's a really small lot and you don't have a lot of space so for this one I decided to fence it in I added a small pool it's honestly a pretty mature yard like there is a child that lives in this house they have a little swing set I tried to fit the playhouse with the sandbox but it didn't fit I think that would have been really cute as well so I mean if you really wanted to you could add it to the front yard I think in the front yard I just put a bicycle 
and a clothesline just to add a little something there's no car on this lot i'm honestly waiting for max 20s max 20s uh car cc pack to come off early access because i'm gonna be so happy to be able to furnish like garages and stuff with actual garage furnishings oh, it's gonna be really fun and the cars look really really awesome so i'm really looking forward to getting my hands on that one hopefully within the next month i'm assuming usually most creators don't keep their cc locked for very long like usually a couple weeks maybe so yeah i'm looking forward to that one so the yard is still coming together i added this really cozy little area on the front porch that i think is super cute and yeah now we're moved on to the interior so the interior of this house the exterior is very simple and kind of classic looking like i said the interior has got some personality to it i've been really inspired by a lot of reels i've been seeing on instagram of these houses and apartments that have a lot of color and a lot of just stuff like i kind of it's like these people go around they just collect all this stuff and then just put it all in their house on display and just fill it with a ton of clutter and plants and artwork and all this stuff and i think it just looks really interesting and lived in it has a ton of personality so i tried to do that a little bit with this build so this is the little um screen and porch area so i added some planters i have not play tested this build yet so i don't think they function the way they are so if you want to use them you could just put them outside or delete the little bench i put on top of them i just thought it looked kind of cute for the video and the screenshots to have it this way but i will make sure they're somewhere and functional functional before i upload this so yeah I, again just not i wouldn't call this build like very eclectic it kind of does have one style it's a little bit bohemian in some aspects it's yeah it's just very light woods and pops of color every once in a while like even this kitchen i got inspired again from a pinterest photo of a kitchen that had two different colors for the counters of wood I was like I've never done that before I've done the two different colors for like counters and cabinets before but I yeah I've never done it where it's two different ones in the same kitchen I think it looks interesting and I've been struggling with kitchens lately just getting them to look the way I want so I was actually happy with how this one turned out I think it's really cute and I even added this little calendar on the fridge from Clutter Cat because I think that's a nice little detail. And then some Polaroids. I think those are from Little Cakes, possibly. I all the CC will always will be linked down below as always. Um, I do tend to forget if it's creators that I don't use very often where the CC is from. Other times I can remember, but yeah, sometimes I do forget. So. You can see I did this thing with the dining room table where I put a bunch of different chairs. I like to do that every once in a while because I think it's kind of cute to imagine you went out and like thrifted all these different chairs for your house. I just think it's a cute little detail. So we did end up using a yellow couch. A yellow couch is something I've been thinking of getting in real life because we are getting a new couch in the next couple months. So I've been like debating do I want a couch that has like color to it because I wouldn't mind adding some color to the apartment like I think that's a good way to just add some life and personality to your home I'm just yeah it's a little bit of a risk to do it but we're gonna go look and see I have a couple ideas in mind like that mustardy yellow I think is kind of pretty maybe like some kind of an orange nothing like neon or like too bright like a little bit more toned down maybe a green or a blue if it's like a nice color but we'll see what ends up happening so i decided to include this little office in this build it is a smaller house for sure um it is two bedrooms and two bathrooms though so i guess it's not that small but it is a little bit small so this is the main bedroom again inspired by a print pinterest photo that i found 
I just really liked it. It's very natural looking. It's very cluttered with a lot of plants and wood. And I try my best to capture that. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's a little bit different from the rest of the build. I feel like color wise, it's more muted, maybe. Um, there's not any like yellows or blues, like crazy colors like that in here. Those shelves are from Pierre Sim from his new pantry set. I'm not actually sure what it's called. Is it just pantry? Like, I'm, I'm actually not sure. That's surprising. Usually I know. Um, it just came out of early access, so if you're interested, I'm really obsessed with it and I'm almost at the point of putting two pantries in two of my builds that I'm working on. The clutter that comes with it is amazing and I think these shelves are really versatile, which is something I always say about Pierre Sim CC. I feel like you can just put it and use it in places that it's not intended and it always looks really great. So yeah, I definitely recommend downloading that set because I think it's really great and it's something different as well that you don't see a lot with CC. I think 6am had a pantry set a really long time ago, but other than that, I've not seen any other pantry sets. So this is the kids room. I'm so, so happy with how this one turned out. I love the orange and blue. I think it's really pretty and it's not like too much, you know, it got... I got inspired by that little dollhouse actually, the colors on it. And yeah, I didn't add a ton of activities in here. We have the toy box and the dollhouse and there's a TV. I've not been adding a ton of activities in my kids rooms lately and I think I've just been making them more mature and I don't know why that is. <laughs> so this is the final room in the build. Thank you guys so much for watching to this point. If you want to support the channel, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And also my Patreon is linked in the description below. There you can find all the tray files and the CC used in this build. It will also be uploaded on the gallery at Lindsay Builds. Thank you guys so much. See you next week. Bye.